Hello everyone. We are looking at um, into the cage of my black-headed python female. As you can see, she's trying to shed her skin. For people who are new to snakes, uh, reptiles shed their skin very often to grow. And of course, this is not just reptiles. Uh, amphibians do it, and mammals do it. We just do it in pieces. Reptiles, they do it all of a sudden in large pieces, and especially snakes, they do it at once in a single piece, if they can manage. So, here we have a snake that is trying to shed her skin in a single piece. As you can see the shed skin is coming off. She may maybe need a little help on the top, but I'm just gonna leave her alone for a while for her to do it on her own. For the people who don't know what type of snake this is, she's a black-headed python, SPDTs, Melanocephalus, I think. I will try to get to the other part of the cage, maybe. Yeah, black-headed pythons, they live in Australia. Um, they're an Australian python species. They don't have visible pits on the side of their faces as other pythons would have. So, for years, Herpetologists call them pitless pythons, but in fact, they do have pits right under their, um, I would say, upper jaw. There's a small hole where upper jaw meets the lower jaw on the uh, close to the tip of their head, and there are heat sensing cells. So maybe not fully developed like, uh, let's say, a ball python, but they do have heat sensing pits. And they can, like a python, like other pythons, they can sense uh, warm-blooded animals around. Now, in Australia, these pythons mainly feed on agamets, like uh, bearded dragons, for example. Uh, but they also take mammal prey and she eats rats without a problem. As you can see, the skin is coming. It's just that there's a part on the top of her head that's kind of stuck so I'm just going to help her out with that um, really quickly I think I'm going to use my hands not to hurt the animal. There we go. Now I think she's going to have an easier job removing the rest of the stuff by herself.
So I'll give you a little more information about the species while we're watching her trying to get rid of her old skin. Again, yeah, the Latin name is Aspiditis melanocephalus. I would say the adults can grow up to around 2 meters in length and she's growing. As you guys can see, the skin is already out to a decent degree since I helped her out with the head area. And she's just resting now. I'll just cut the video here and I'll get back to her when she is moving a bit more. Right, as you guys can see, she's already back at it. I'll just zoom into the area where the action is happening. As you can see, she's slowly, by muscle movements, she's slowly getting out of her old skin into the new skin and she you can see her colors are getting to be very pretty And I think since she got pretty much the hang of it now, it's not going to take a long time to get the whole skin out. So again, the black-headed pythons live on the northern part of the um, Australia top half I would say. They live in many habitats including very arid regions and they mainly feed on the large lizard species that they can easily find in their environment. Let me talk about the skin shedding process a little bit. It usually starts a couple of weeks uh, before this last day where the snake actually sheds her skin. Um, when you can understand is that the, the uh, color of the snake overall gets to be a bit dull and the clear indication that the shedding is going to take place is that when the uh, eyes of the snake go in to a milky blue color. And this happens because uh, the fluid which already helps and acts as a lubricant between the old skin and the new skin also fills up in right under the eye caps of the snake and that fluid makes the snake look like it has dark blue eyes and then after that at the time the fluid gets slowly absorbed by uh, the old skin 
and at about a week or two after you get to this stage where the snake starts shedding the old skin as you can see she's all shiny and great looking she's getting to be light, lighter with each shed um, this snake is from uh, actually from Calico Bloodlines and I expect her to be much lighter than where she is right now alright I'm just gonna cut it here because uh, the process is pretty much the same she will keep moving around her cage until she gets it off the entire old skin uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys like her just beautiful amazing colors now alright have a good day All right. Um, I just want to add this to the end of the video this is what we end up with normally this part the head part is not as bad as it looks now you usually get a nice uh, decent head shape but she kinda botched that part up but as you can see she has properly shed her skin out all the way to the tail All right, and these tiles are, I think, 60 centimeters long, so I would say she is at around 160 centimeters, coming close to the 2 meters that I expect her to be at the end. All right, hope you guys liked it, and see you later. Bye.